Okay, hello. There we are. Bear with me, everyone, in cyberspace. As I stare off into the distance, we're going to have the occasional car pass by. We're going to have the occasional bird. That's what we live for on live webcast. There's a little background noise that you'll hear from the next thing over. Jamie's here. Okay, good. Hey. We're wor it's working. Eli's going to come out and play a song with us on the second song. But before we do, and Eli, even if you want to noodle around with this, Steve is in the back with his drum and our special guest, the beloved Jenny. She's a Bucks County legend. There's a she's a Bucks County legend. And we're going to start out tonight with this song, which we used to do in a group we had called Loose Change. We got white noise going on here. The drummers are speaking. They're coordinating things. Okay, if you're there and want to sing along, please do.
we were right. called Loose Change in the old days, and we like to say that our name was on every envelope you got from the bank. And now it's just a little bit. <laughs> we have stories to tell you. We oh, have many colorful stories, and now we're old, so we have even more stories. Because we forget that we told you. Good, Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Gretchen. Annie's Gretchen! sister is here. And Gretchen's here. Um, Hi, Gretchen. Eli's Hi, gonna Gretchen. Eli's gonna stay for a moment and sure. play one more song. And Where's Steve, Eli? Jenny's hub is He's holding down in the, the fort box. in the back there. Um, they uh, were Jenny was a resident of Bucks County for many years, and, and as a matter of fact, we used to live in a house together in Lumberville, and we had many uh, colorful adventures there oh, yeah. it was and it was kind of like a i i used to say it was like living in an it italian opera there because we basically sang everything That's yeah. right. take the trash out whatever <laughs> we used to watch the super bowl together every yes year. that was so fun oh yes and you guys had pie pie bake a kappa we had a sorority a pie baking sorority called pie bake a kappa want to explain it well Mostly what I remember is Annie and I swirling our rolling pins, <laughs> pins around singing old Beatles songs. Yeah, and baking like so many freaking pies. pies. Or blackberry pies. So many pies. Yeah. We, um, so many. one time uh, Jenny was about to go on the Gene Shea show <laughs> and uh, the legendary Gene Shea show in Philly and called us up and said, help, I've glued my fingers together. <laughs> Except that crazy I tried glue. to call you up. Oh, okay, I was like, couldn't. I was glued together like this. <laughs> Wait, why? Because <laughs> I broke my thumbnail for picking, right? And I was going to oh, be boy. on the radio live show with Amy Torsha. And um, so I quick ran to the drugstore, bought fake nails and tried to glue it on and it wasn't sticking, it was sliding off. So I put more glue on and then held it together like this, Whoa. not realizing it was super glue. Oh my gosh. So I'm like this and Andy's right upstairs. So I get the phone, this was before <laughs> cell phones, right? And I got it on my shoulder like this. I'm like, dialing, don't, 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 don't. Right? Lucky and you didn't glue your fingers to the phone. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> and of course it's busy because Andy's always on the phone. I'm like, Andy, get off the phone. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> So, um, anyway, so then I had to try to get out of the house, mm -hmm. but the handle's down here and the lock's up there, but I finally did that really fast and went up the stairs and knocked on the door. <laughs> With glued fingers. <laughs> like, Annie, Annie, Jeff, Annie, help me. And so for about an hour, we coated it and wrapped it with um, fingernail polish remover, and we found some debonder, which is all yeah. high level acetone, yeah. like high test acetone. Yes. So they were high on fumes. When yes, the, absolutely. So a bug on your guitar string. Oh, whatever. Don't um, let him. Oh well, he's in there. So um, and you got him unglued. Yeah. I got unglued, and then Amy drove to. Fortunately, because I was in no condition to drive. Um, and there we were on the Gene Shea show, and uh, I was telling jokes that I thought were hysterically funny. <laughs> and Gene was laughing. Were, Gene, Gene and Amy, who are always game, they were just going, like, oh boy, I think the acetone. I think we might figured it out. It was the acetone that yeah, was right. going to your head. Wait, she's already loco, so this was like an extra. Yeah. Extra loco. Um, one time we went on the Gene Shea show, and he was not there, and there was a guest. Host Chuck Elliott, great guy. He hosts the uh, he hosts the weekend show uh, Sleepy Hollow every week, and he made us feel comfortable. And I happened to run into Freebo, the great uh, bass player who played with Bonnie Raitt for years. And we said, Freebo, do you have your bass with you? He was playing guitar on the show. He said, Yeah, I always have it. It's down in the van. So he went down and got it, and he played on the whole set with us and this is still one of the songs and I remember I think I turned to him and said do you know Doc of the Bay and he was like <laughs> Chip is the Pope Catholic so we got our motorcycles going by wow one time I counted 27 in a row we're gonna oh, that was uh, only three, so. we're gonna string a piano wire up across the road one of these days 
kidding. Okay, sing along with us. Roger and Arlene are here. Hi, Arlene. Hi, guys. What do you have? You both have your cell phones on tonight? You're both sitting next to each other on the couch. Oh. And Roger and Arlene have uh, single-handedly kept this show going. Uh, I'm going to... I think I'm going to do one more show next Friday, but we're, we're going to take a hiatus after that. Anyway, let's do this. We got two drummers with us. I'll set the groove. It goes like this. Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening comes Watching the ships roll in Then I watch them Watching the tide roll away Sitting on the dock of the bay Wasting time I left my home in watch Pleasure to play that. We had percussion on it. Thank you, Steve. Good Thank job. you, Eli. Eli. We're gonna let Jenny play one of her beautiful originals. She's got uh, 17,000 CDs out <laughs> under her <laughs> name. <laughs> Jenny Avila and under also the name Amy and Jenny. That's probably on iTunes too, isn't it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. I gotta get my knee up. Get yourself oh. situated. Relax. There it goes. There's my knee. It's the Here and Gone program from the backyard tonight. Um, let me scroll down, see if anybody else is in the house. You're like, a little out of tune. No, no, you're good. No, you're good. Uh -huh. I'm out of tune. Yeah, Just tune up. There's no rush. The backyard is a little hot, not too bad, and so acoustic guitars don't like that. Did you just spit on me? No! The, um, I really no clouds. <laughs> I did, and I wouldn't. The drummers are going <laughs> to lay out of this particular tune. If you're there in the chat room, say hi. Okay, I have to say something. 
about Go this ahead. song. Go ahead, you please. Okay. Annie, uh, Jenny's gonna um, set it up for us. Hi, Larry. This uh, tonight, this is for all of my classmates, the class of 1972 at Central Bucks West High School in Doylestown. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, they just had their 50th reunion, and I wasn't able to be there, so I promised I would do this. Um, this is for actually kind of a memorial for all of our uh, classmates who have passed, but I originally wrote this for uh, Amy Jaron, and uh, it was their family that created the Churchville Nature Center. Uh, but she was our classmate, and uh, she died of leukemia, and I wrote this for her memorial service. It's called How Rich the Life, so you can sing along at home. It goes like this. How rich the life. How rich the life. How rich the life. Listen to my heart I can hear you laugh As you finish my thoughts My friend For the meteor shower We put the lounge chair out in the middle of the field in the dark so the sky cry children of us all down the rabbit hole we fall and eat and drink and grow and make our heart a home and often wonder why when, when we will fly, fly over the rainbow, how rich the light, how rich the light, how rich the light.
Beautiful song, always loved it. I can I could hear you all singing along. Um, how are you guys tonight? Phil Swanson's here. My cousin Larry's here from down in Florida. The skeeters are here. Yes, we got yes. a couple of bugs, but they're not going to bother us. It's going to go by so fast. What did we do in the house? We had so many adventures there in various guises. Um, Jenny has sung with what orchestra? Again. Oh, the, Mar the Maryland Symphony Orchestra. Yes, they, I did a bunch of, uh, I wrote a bunch of songs about true stories from the Civil War, mostly in the Antietam Battlefield area, which is near where I live. And uh, yeah, the Maryland Symphony Orchestra, after I recorded it, they found it at the Convention and Visitor Bureau. And uh, I got this little plain email <laughs> that said, you know, hi, we would like to perform your songs with you. And I thought it was a scam. I, was, I almost didn't answer it. And sure enough, though, I checked it out and um, they had listened to it and decided it would be appropriate for their big 4th of July celebration at the Antietam Battlefield where like 35,000 people spend all day marching in with their coolers and their supplies. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end, they do the, you know, the cannons and the fireworks and all that fun stuff. So that was cool. The Maryland Symphony Orchestra was my backup band so for, for three Jenny. songs. And um, now we, yeah, twice. twice, that's true. We did it in 2013 wow. and 2017. Yes, right. Steve nice. was up there with his uh, Ubang, which I don't know nice. if he's played yet. Um, and, uh, but my son, Nowy wrote the orchestrations for two of the songs, and Jay Ansel wrote uh, another awesome. orchestration. So How that was cool. They let great. us do that, and it was so beautiful. That is a uh, that's a, a a memory for all time to to do that. And I, that picture of you from that occasion is yeah. is also a keeper. Mm -hmm. um, we would sing for fun at the old house down the road from here in Lumberville. We used to sing outside, On the like I said, table. at the picnic table. Yeah. Um, we ultimately, all of us and our da other downstairs neighbor, Christine, we all got flooded out of that house and left it in a, um, in a sad state. But uh, while we were there, we had a great time. Um, and Steve got to be a part of that for the last year because that's when I met I him. I was and, lucky yeah. enough to experience that. That's day. right. He we, was commuting up. Yeah. We were, we yeah. were. And when we sang for fun, as we're doing tonight for you guys, um, one of our favorite uh, writers to uh, cover is James Taylor. And um, this is a song I've never done on the show before. Uh, so I'm happy to do it now with with a little quartet that we have here. And we know that you know it, so if the spirit moves you at home, sing along. It's the song that James Taylor really uh, has said that is his own favorite song of his. There is a young cowboy who lives on the range. His horse and his cattle are his only companions. He works in the saddle, Lord. He sleeps in the canyons. He is just waiting for summer, his pastures to change. And as the moon rises, he sits by his fire, thinking about women. Sings out a song which is soft but it's big, just as if maybe someone could hear. Good night, you moonlight ladies. I rock a by sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues all. Let me go down in my dreams 
December was covered with snow. Yes, and so was the turnpike from Stockbridge to Boston. The Berkshires seemed dreamlike on account of that frosting. With ten miles behind me and ten thousand. There's a song that they sing when they take to the highway. A song that they sing when they take to the sea. A song that they sing of their home in the sky. Maybe you can believe it if it helps you to sleep. But singing works just fine. Goodbye, sweet baby James. Deep greens and blues are the colors I'll choose. Won't you let me go down in my dreams? And rock by sweet baby James. With the birds singing in tune with us. Mm -hmm. Lots of birds around here. I have a memory that you wouldn't sing <laughs> because you thought that you were not Just a good singer. Well, that goes so far back. You might, my cousin has known me since I was an infant. So I think I was about 15, 16 years old and I, I wouldn't sing. All my friends were singing before I was. But I just closed my eyes one day and sang. I sang at Lafayette College one time because my friend Jimmy Cross brought me up there. And then it was Katie Bar the Door. I would sing everything after that. My friend Steve Philp, my friend Alan LaBeouf, they were always singing before me and they were shining examples. Uh, we'll do another song by James Taylor. This one has a little story. You guys love stories. You've told me that. Jamie is that way now, he says. He won't sing unless he's coaxed or has a half a bottle of tequila down his gullet. Jamie. <laughs> no, uh, not really. Uh, that's just me trying to be funny with air quotes. Always trying to say the funny thing. Okay. Now, I think it's funny. What, one thing that's happened, Jen, since you moved away, and I don't know if you know this story, but I midwifed a situation where I got Kate Taylor over to WDVR to sing and to play on the air. She must have been playing locally. She was playing in Havana's. And, and uh, so there she was, and I think I must have played the accompaniment to the next song we're going to do. This is a lullaby that James wrote for his uh, daughter, Sally. You know it. It's called You Can Close Your Eyes. And James Taylor wrote this song when he was on the movie set, Two Lane Blacktop, and he put it on a cassette and hand wrote the lyric and sent it to his sister. And he said, do you want to record this? And she said, of course. And now it's her favorite James Taylor song. I've asked them both. Livingston's favorite song is um, Carolina In My Mind. But uh, Kate's favorite song, and she recorded it first. So she has a version of, and, and so they, I think, actually, I think they played the record of it that night. Her recording, maybe. And uh, so as it was recording, as the record was playing, she leaned over to me and said, you know, that handwritten lyric is going to put my granddaughters through college, <laughs> she said. So she's got that framed on her wall. And it's always been one of our favorites. We used to sing it around the Lumberville house. And you know it. You guys out there. 
Which one? Which one do you remember? Rooms. Who sings high? Yeah, who's yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're doing. We're ahead of the game. We're ahead of the game because we kind of. We didn't even really get too much chance to rehearse, so we're just. Winging it. We're winging it. We're on the fly here. And it goes like this. Well, the sun is surely sinking down. But the moon is slowly rising. This old world must still be spinning round. have to stick the ending that's performing 101 <laughs> and I did that time uh, Liv Taylor has a thing he calls the guitar Olympics and he says let's see if he's gonna stick the ending he plays this whole thing and I don't know why but he's used the the announcer's name in his little uh, comedy bit is chip so chip what are you thinking today about this guitar Olympics whatever but I famously, one night, was playing You've Got a Friend with my dear friend Alan LaBeouf, and we looked out into the audience, and it just hit on every cylinder, you know. And, and it was just a beautiful night. They all had their arms around their baby, and they're swaying. The whole room is swaying. It's all out of tune. And I'm just going to... I'm going to use this as a, as a demonstration, not play the song. So we get to the end, and... Jeez. And, um, like I said, they're, they're hanging on every word. It was, they're singing along with me. And so... Ain't it good to know you've got a friend? Ain't it good to know... And I get to the last one, I go... And they, they all, I lost them all in that last three seconds. Their hands were like this. What? What just happened? What just happened there? We thought it was a good version. See, they don't know. They don't know what just happened. So I got no applause at the end instead of the applause that the song could have deserved. And so later, as we were packing up, I said to my good friend, Alan, this was a famous moment in our relationship and in my life. And as I jokingly said, as we're packing up the guitars, I said, I said, uh, you know, I really screwed up the ending to You've Got a Friend Tonight. And he went, Chip, you can't screw up the ending to You've Got a Friend. And I was like, oh, 
you know, it was like, uh, it made me realize you have to stick the ending. You have to stick the ending. Or just stop playing. That's what I do. When I play. Or just stop playing. <laughs> Same man. So we're hearing cars go by. We're hearing, oh, that was a garbage can lid. It was, uh, now, okay. uh, I do have to take a moment and talk up a gig. I'm playing at the Jersey Shore at, in Ocean Grove at the on the boardwalk. Yes, I'm inviting Bruce and Patty, uh, who'd like to walk on the boardwalk in the cool of the evening. And I'm playing at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, July 5th, uh, down there in Ocean Grove. So it's a free concert. Come on by. This is beautiful. We're back to playing concerts w with live audiences. Do you have anything coming up? Any yeah, gigs? On, uh, there you go. Tuesday night, right? Um, there's a place called Gatland, and there's a memorial for journalists, actually. War correspondent. Is it in war Maryland? Corresp it's well, in Maryland? war correspondent journalists, and it's a memorial wow. for them. So we're going to do a luminary oh, wow. uh, at the uh, Gatland Park, and uh, I'm going to sing a song I actually wrote. I, I wrote, it's not a parody, it's it's a, an adaptation of Bob Dylan's Forever Young, but it's like, may the truth always be told. So yeah. I'm going to like sing wow. that there. And, like 250 uh, luminaries for the 250 oh, yeah. journalists. Yeah, it's, it's wow. volunteered to be the coordinator. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, oh wow. all right, not good not for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah wow. it's, it'll be beautiful, really nice. That's Shoot. what I'm Sounds doing great. next. It's a beautiful place. Good. Go see Jenny if you're anywhere near there. And come see me if you're anywhere near Ocean Grove, Tuesday, July 5th. Hey, I just want to say something. Go ahead, Annie. This has been like so much fun getting together with Chip and Jenny. I can't even tell you. It is the best. Annie, like, it is Annie me, hasn't, like, my whole summer. A Annie like, hasn't uh, and Steve. Annie yeah. hasn't gotten <laughs> no, uh, to see. It's so much in, fun. In I, we years. have to do this more often. I know. When was the last time we sang together? It was like... Like flood of 2005? <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know. We, we were trying to make the floodwaters recede. Yeah, yeah. We did a Christmas together. Um, like, a I'm going to get that Jim mosquito. Oh, right. oh thanks. Is, is, is it gone? Died. Yeah, it's gone. Well, sort of oh. covering. So, let's just for Aww. just for the sake of, uh, of honesty and veracity, um, yeah, Uncle Pete was uh, <laughs> smacking it. Great guy. <laughs> Okay, I'll thanks. There's a mosquito. So can we smack it's you and get the mosquito? I always need a hearty pat on the back at any given time. <laughs> you smack him. Now, this is a song. Let, oh we're going we're gonna to reveal to you what it's like when we kind of don't know a song uh -oh. and don't remember it. And we'd be yeah. up in the living room in Lumberville trying to... Um, Trying to remember it, and we don't particularly really remember this song that well. Oh my God. That's we're why gonna, we're, gonna we're just gonna try it for a moment, and it's uh, the great old Love and Spoonful song. I, oh I have gosh. a friend. Well, he's a Facebook friend. I don't think we've ever met in person, but his name is Artie Shrek, and he Artie Shrek uh, is a legend in in the New York City area music business. He's worked with everybody from the Left Bank. He actually wrote a song for Frank Sinatra. And it was called Here's to the Musicians. And Sinatra changed it to Here's to the Band. And that song was the follow-up record to New York, New York. Huh. Oh, wow. So, um, Artie, uh, uh, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, Artie, oh, he was producing The Love and Spoonful. And this is a John Sebastian song we're going to try. Did you actually get the lyric yeah. there? Oh, good. Um, and... Um, you said, feed me, Jack, and I was feeding you. That's a, a line from uh, a film. Um, Artie was working on the record when they were recording Summer in the City. And this is not unusual to hear this happen. It happened with the birds. It happened with a lot of people. Where John Sebastian was playing that electric piano part, and they said he did like 28 takes and he screwed it up every time oh, and then he it. said wow. Artie Shrek said let me try it and that was the take huh. he sat down behind the little like bang bang bing bing, bing. Wow. as soon as John Sebastian <clears throat> gave the piano seat to a professional piano player they got the song uh, the birds recorded Mr. Tambourine Man with uh, the studio the wrecking crew and and 
they then chafed at that. And they said, the next record we're going to play ourselves. So what was the follow-up record to Mr. Tambourine now? Uh, turn, Turn, Turn. Mm -hmm. So they did Turn, Turn, Turn their, themselves. And the, the old, and they did good. They, they did great. Except for the one difference was Mr. Tambourine Man took 70 takes and Turn, Turn, Turn <laughs> took 77 takes. Wow. So that was the difference. Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. Annie has the lyric. Yeah. So we're going to try to go... That's what we get for getting a, a lyric yeah. in front of us. Thank you, Google. Because we, we messed that up. up. <laughs> I thought the other one. So, um. Well, I've never done it before. You did great. I, uh, yes. hey, yes. hi, yes. Kathy. Steve Wright, Jenny's husband. Kathy uh, and Rich are here. Um, either from Maine or back in Jersey, I'm not sure. And if you'd like to keep the, uh, show on the air <laughs> um, we have a tip jar the virtual tip jar it's just a PayPal link you can scroll up and see it um, here's a here's a, a story about a song that we attempted and never could get and and I always regretted it too and so we got together for a, a rehearsal one time up in our living room and um, the reason I'm even mentioning this is because my my uh, respect and admiration for George Harrison grew by 30% that day. And that was, we were trying to do Because. Oh, yeah. Because the wind. Is, and we tried oh, it for, for a good 15 or 20 minutes. And I was trying to figure out, George Harrison's part was so complicated. It was like he was in falsetto half the time, then he was singing a low part. He was the utility outfielder. Yeah. And we just finally went, we can't do this. This is just like too, we could have if we stuck with it, but, but we, uh, we had always uh, a fun time with the, with the three-part harmony, with the two-part harmony, with the gals. You know what we forgot? We did Moby Grape. Did oh we do Moby gosh, Grape? We have to Let's do, do it. <laughs> we have some that. time. We're going to do Moby Grape, and then we'll have a big finale well, we for you. Run over this. This, will be interesting. Well, this is going to be brand new. <laughs> I actually have a record of this out. I got a record of this out. And it's all good. 
we had to, uh, my manager and I had to contact the Moby Grape Society. <laughs> the Moby Grape people in San Francisco and get their permission to use this. And then, and so, um, yeah, it's, it's so, on I mean, a record that's yeah, only on the vinyl. The song we just sang, Rain on the Roof. Yes. Chip, like, hi. Hi. Bye, hi. Guys. Bye, Riley. Our fans, there they go. <laughs> um, you know, just like 45 minutes ago, he said, I don't know if I remember how to play this. And then he just did all that beautiful classical guitar work. That, I mean, you know, come on. I, yes. It's like a hereditary, goes, okay, okay, it's it. a hereditary gene in my family. Album cut. Hi, Diane. Look what this guy did. Glad that you are. I've never heard that song in my life. I don't know. I started to go Seriously. off on a left turn there. That's but good. Now you did good. You glad that you're. Um, <laughs> glad that you're in the house, Diane. Hi, Diane. Uh, Larry, um, the girls and Steve don't do anything on that song, so I will do that for you next week. Uh, on my classical guitar, I do have. A tribute CD out on iTunes uh, to George Harrison. It's called "Here Comes the Sun," and I, um, Annie, could you could you do me a favor? Could you run in the house and get an emery board? Yep. I ne I need this nail for tomorrow's gig. Um, I'm playing a rehearsal tomorrow, and I am ruining my nail for a minute here. Uh, yeah, that you know, um, it happened to me two days ago. Yeah, it happens. This middle finger, and I've been I was like kind of limping. Don't show me the finger. <laughs> which finger? Don't show me which finger it is. Um, James Taylor carries a nail kit on the road with him, and when he breaks a nail, he repairs it and puts he a fake nail, it on, glues right? it back on, but and, sure and uh, thanks, Annie. Yeah. And and uh, so we were talking about guitars before, and Jenny got this beautiful Taylor locally at the guitar barn, mm -hmm. and. Um, it had her name on it, and it was calling to her, 
And Steve, good husband that he is, he was 100% encouraging. Um, it's hard to know what to do sometimes. But you don't have gas, which is guitar acquisition <laughs> syndrome. Uh, Not right now. <laughs> Not right now you don't. I purposely didn't eat the beans in the Mexican food today. Wait. Do you know that there's a microphone behind her just in case we need percussion? I, what I do, it's again, it's a rhythm, it's a rhythm, it's a um, with the music. Yes, the, the, so gas is guitar acquisition Sorry. syndrome. So um, um, this is what it's like to be hanging around with Annie and Jenny. And, and heaven forbid if I say something funny in a rehearsal because the rehearsal will be over. Um, no, it just begins. The, 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 so you have two two whole oh guitars. I do, but yeah, I got this one from the guitar barn. It's yeah. totally yeah. shaped differently. It's nice. still pretty right, big, right, but right. my other one's even bigger. And yeah. it's because of this broken wrist I have. But yeah, tell them about your broken oh, wrist. Oh, I don't want to. It's a long story, well, but basically. Well, it's a long story. But here, let's see, this doesn't move. So Thanks, I needed Arlene. a guitar that was better for the position. Thanks, but Arlene and Donna. Them. Thanks for checking in. Um, Anyway, Jenny we were talking. We were we were talking. Um, Steve gained four pounds on your honeymoon. Two under each eye. Now that's a terrible, <laughs> that's terrible how I joke. Broke my wrist okay, on. so so. No, um, okay. Now I have let to tell it. Let her tell it. Let her tell it. Okay. Head, okay. L well, let her tell it. Tell. okay. okay. We're very first, first, okay. The very first day of my of our honeymoon in 2015, we got off the plane. We went to Westminster Abbey. I. I was looking to see what I was missing rather than where I was going. I fell on the Duchess of Suffolk. Her sarcophagus was unyielding. And so we spent the, <laughs> the rest real Duchess of Suffolk or her on her sarcophagus. Oh, okay. Oh but she, there was a, there's a sculpture of her. She would have said, We are not amused. We are not. She was not. And neither was I. And I was like on the floor, you know, with my wrist over here. And so we spent the whole rest of the first day in the emergency room of the Queen's Teaching Hospital. Oh my goodness. And uh, they were very good to us. Wow. Yeah, they, they got me all fixed up. Wow. But when I got back here, it was a little different. So that, we'll just leave it at that. Thanks for sharing. It's a good, that it's a good story. Yeah. I like it. But it's sad about your wrist. That's, yeah. Thanks. I want to I tell you a quick story about Aww. the great Kenny Rankin. I was interviewing him one time. The late, great Kenny Rankin. One of the great singers of our time, in my opinion. Always loved him. Just the worst interview ever. He had nothing to say. He he's he had no personality. <laughs> I'm sorry to speak this way of him, but he was a great musician, and that's all he thought about. And the only rise I got out of him was to mention this bass player's name. And then he talked for 30 seconds about the bass player. But I said to him, you, you were asked by Lennon and McCartney to sing Blackbird at their induction into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in Manhattan. They sent you on their behalf to sing Blackbird. Do you have any memories of that night? And his answer was, no. Oh my gosh. I said, Crickets. nothing, nothing comes to mind at all. <laughs> Not really. Oh so I had lemina, flop lemina, sweat. Lemina. I got flop sweat going on. And I finally, I said to him, you know, I saw you 15 years ago at a place called the Club Benet in New Jersey. And uh, I said, you were playing that same guitar. We're talking about guitar acquisition sy syndrome. And I, I said, you were playing that same guild, that beautiful guild Mark IV that you have. And he looks at me completely deadpan. He had no sense of humor either, but he just said, it's the only guitar I've ever owned. And I was like, come again wow. he goes I got it when I was nine for Christmas oh it's the only guitar I've ever owned so I said wait a minute I said so you're on tour and your neck goes out of adjustment I said what do you do he goes concert is canceled oh my gosh. I go so you got a 90 piece orchestra waiting for you and something goes wrong with the bridge what happened he goes the recording sessions canceled oh my goodness That's the only insane. guitar he's ever owned no backup no nothing well, it speaks highly of the quality of guilt. So this last song that we're going to do, and also I can't thank Jenny and Steve enough well, we can't thank for coming. You Thanks for setting it's it been up. a total bull. We've been in the backyard battling the elements. We're doing this, but we, we don't mind. It's all for you guys. Uh, we're going to uh, ask you to, if the 
spirit moves you, just avail yourself of the tip jar. Scroll up, you'll find it. Um, can I dedicate this song? I want to. We're not ready to dedicate okay. yet. I have okay. a story to oh, tell sorry. first, okay. and that is that we were doing this at a great coffee house called Mom and Pops. Oh yeah. Coffee house, and I, for some insane reason. I put the capo way, way above where it was supposed to be, and I started singing, and the girls were singing and sounding like the Bee Gees. And they, we're sitting in a railway station. And I just said, I can't let them go on like this. So I stopped the song. You're never supposed to stop the song. But I stopped, and I said, let's start over again. The audience warmly applauded. They were like, we don't want them to strain themselves and end up in the hospital. We so, train wreck. but tonight we will sing it in the right key, and Annie has a dedication for um, it. I want to dedicate this song to my younger brother Matt, Matthew Bowerline, um, who we love with all our hearts. That's it. And we love you too. We love uh, you guys, and I'll see you next Friday. Jenny and Steve, we will see you anytime you're in the neighborhood. You're welcome to pop in. I'll set up yes. the camera. It doesn't yeah, matter so if it's three o'clock in the morning. Come back, please. We'll come back. Please come back. And so Seriously. this is this is this is one of our favorite songs, and it's by the great Paul Simon, and it goes like this. I'm sitting in a railway station, got a ticket for my Thank you Night, for joining us. See Thanks you next Friday. I had a Bee Gees moment there. Aww. <laughs> you sounded great. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Love you. That was fun. <laughs> Is it over? Yay, guys. Wait, he has to end it. Are we still there? It's ended. It's ended. I believe. Oh. Click end.